Hey everyone, it is I, Traveling with Patrick, and I am back again. And this time, we're down here in Crown Point, Louisiana. Gene Lafitte National Park, which is taking a little nature trail down here, just enjoying the scenery. Please follow along. Tell me what you think, leave your comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Let's go traveling. So it does close at five o'clock and they will lock you in. Um, yes, alligators are common in this area and it can be dangerous. So do not approach, frightened or if fit. Um, yeah. So do they get on top of the walkways? Yeah, it's probably possible. I haven't seen them on top of the walkways, but let's just see if we see anything. Just what's one thing about it. It's so peaceful out here. You can get away from the city and just take in Louisiana nature. So far, I don't see nothing. I'll just go around this little bit in here by this big tree. Wow, it is huge. You know, it really doesn't take a whole lot of water for the wildlife to, to be out here for snakes, water moccasins, spiders, gators. It really doesn't take a whole lot. Oh, you want to kind of see what's in the middle here? Nothing. So they do have signs here. So one of the main things here is do not feed the gators. It is a $5,000 fine or six months in jail. I don't recommend it. And yes, masks are required when you're less than six feet apart. So. Do not feed the, feed the wildlife and no dogs. And this is the path. Yes, it is wheelchair accessible. It has restrooms and everything in the front here. Very nice. And there's also like a little, I guess, museum in there. I'm not sure if it's open today. We'll definitely check that out as we go along. But let's take a tour down the little path here. And let's see if we can find some real gators out in their natural habitat. So... I was just told by a local group here, there is a mama and a baby right up here off to the right. So we're gonna go a little slow and definitely do our, band, our best to uh, to get a glimpse of this. And I, I know most of you are probably saying, why is he out here? I said, look, like I said before, we're getting away from the city and just enjoying nature. This is all free. This is something you don't have to pay for. This is a, it's a walkway path. It's all boarded, wheelchair accessible, everything. Let me see, maybe we coming up on the gators here. Uh, there is some benches along the way if you get tired. I do like that. And folks, the, the weather right now is just absolutely breathtaking. It's, it's not hot, it's not cold it's perfect so we're definitely going to see i don't see anything just yet there's another bench right here they, they seem like the benches are every i don't know maybe so many feet from each other well Looks like somebody left their mask there in that big pony or pino, or whatever that is. I have no idea whoever big pino is. Well, anyway. So no gators yet. Um, I went looking in the area where they told me 
Maybe mom and the baby kind of went under the water, but as you can see, it's very peaceful. It's quiet. Yes, you do have to put up with the bugs and everything else out here. If you don't like bugs, you definitely uh, might not want to do it. Now, just as I was about to walk away, I don't know if you could see it or not. There's a real snake there. I'm not sure what kind. It doesn't look poisonous. It's probably about three foot, somewhere in there. So, wow, look at that. Just sitting there, just waiting for its next meal, maybe. So folks, I had to do a little backtracking here. Um, instead of going on a trail, which we are gonna go on a trail, I have to go back to that sign where we saw earlier because I heard that mama and the baby is down here off to the right. So they are laying in the sun. And they say it's about a hundred yards up here. We're just gonna give or take. We're gonna see if we can spot it. It'll be very quiet, maybe we can sneak up on it. I'm really excited. I really am. I love gators. Uh, born and raised here in Louisiana. Um, this is so much about the state that a lot of people just don't know. So just as I mentioned on the video um, earlier, um, here we are on the nature trail and look what's right here, pretty close to the, to the path. And mama is kind of poking her head out over that way she could see a waiting she is really big she looks like a big girl there so they do when you do get close to them they do tend to make a sound they'll hiss real alligator no zoo here real nature that is so good Oh, she's moving. Yeah, she is definitely moving. And she is looking ready to come up too. Whatever she has over there, she is not gonna let me near it. I can tell you that. Oh, this one is definitely missing a part of its limb or a foot, as you see. Holy smokes. Wow, this one was kind of chewed up a little bit. Ouch. This is a real gator, everyone. I would say about six foot, maybe seven foot gator sitting right here, right off the trail. Yeah. I don't think I would put my hand down there. Pretty good size though, I'm just saying. As you can see, the trail goes this way. Yeah. Wow. So, wow, right back there, a real gator right off the, right off the trail is this. This is, you never know what you're going to see when you come out here. You really don't. This is why I like to come out here from time to time. And it's great, right? It, it clears your mind. It feels good to just relax and just get away from everything, right? So let's venture on a little bit. Ooh, you're a deadly boy, ain't you? You're a little green lizard. Careful. There's a lot of reptiles out here. They'll take you under. I hope you make it, buddy. We're all with you. Folks, I was just walking past and I looked to my left here. This looks like a little grass snake just curled up here, just waiting for a nice snack or just taking in the sun. If you really want to see how close it is to the edge, again, here it is. And right there. This is how close you can get to nature. I mean, this is the closest you can ever, other than getting to a zoo, 
but actual real life up close. This is, you can't get no closer than this. Unless you want to jump down and grab it, but I don't recommend that. Wow. Okay. Maybe we'll catch some more, shall we? Stumbled on another little snake here. See if I can get in a little closer to it. A lot of little small snakes, nothing really huge. This is a non poisonous one. Let's see if we can get the head. No, let's try this side up here. Now, yeah, there we go. Sitting there nice and quiet on top of the water. Just waiting. Again, fairly close to, to the edge here. So nature is very close. Wow. You're huge. I would say you probably are about a close to six foot at least yeah that snake back there just got me all worked up and i'm not too afraid of them but when it took off like that <laughs> look at jack i was moving <laughs> so be do be careful when you come out here they do have quite a bit so yeah. <laughs> Way to go, snake. You got me worked up now. Oh, we're walking past him again. Oh, the eyes just open. Hello. Hello, mama. Goodbye, mama. Yes, we're not going to mess with you. I know you're watching me. You see the eyes. Don't think you can ever get near them. And if they start to hiss a little bit, you know you're a little too close. Look at it, folks. Just how amazing that is. It's so close to where the path is. I don't recommend getting face to face with it, but keep your distance. This is nature. <laughs> the real habitat, basically. Not the zoos. Oh, and another thing is, if you do come out here, Please do not go fishing where the signs are posted. You will be in deep trouble if you do. You do not want to get caught. This is a canoe launch. They actually have on a different trail, which is right up the road where we were at. We kind of moved there. And if you can see one of the carpenter bees just flying around. Yeah, he's just minding his own business. There's quite a few of them out here. You'll see mosquito hawks. But we may get a glimpse of a gator or two right out here. This is so peaceful and quiet. Well, I would love to go fishing if I had my canoe or a kayak or something. I would definitely do it. This is the perfect place to, to come out here and go straight down the bayou and just find your little place there. So you're probably wondering, what is all the green stuff? Well, that's a little bit of algae on you know, that. It grows on the uh, on top of the water. From time to time, you'll see it move when the currents are picking up, as you can see it right there. And of course, the, the lily pads and stuff like that. And it does have a distinguished smell out here. More of like a, it's a swamp smell, as they would call it. Hey everyone, thanks for traveling with me today. I hope you liked it. Please hit my subscribe button. Until next time, travel with Patrick.